Hey there, I'm Complexion Care, and today we're going to uncover the mystery behind scabies. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our valuable content. Scabies is a highly contagious skin condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It is caused by the infestation of the skin by a tiny mite known as Sarcoptis scabies. This minuscule eight-legged creature burrows into the upper layers of the skin, resulting in a range of uncomfortable symptoms and an unmistakable rash. In this comprehensive guide, we will explore the various aspects of scabies, including their symptoms, causes, treatment options, prevention methods, and more. Understanding Scabies Symptoms The primary symptom of scabies is intense itching, which typically worsens at night. This itching is a result of the mites burrowing into the skin and laying eggs. As the infestation progresses, a rash develops, usually in the form of small red bumps or blisters. The rash often appears in the webs of the fingers, wrists, elbows, buttocks, genitals, and other areas where the mites are most active. Effective Scabies Treatment Options Treating scabies requires targeting both the mites and their eggs. The most common treatment approach involves the use of topical medications, such as creams or lotions, which are applied directly to the affected areas. These medications usually contain insecticides that kill the mites and reduce the itching and rash. It is crucial to follow the instructions provided by your healthcare professional to ensure effective treatment. In some cases, oral medications may be prescribed for severe or resistant cases of scabies. These medications work by attacking the mites internally and are often reserved for situations where topical treatments have failed. Identifying the scabies rash. The scabies rash is a hallmark symptom of the condition and serves as a crucial diagnostic clue. It typically appears as red, raised bumps or blisters that may contain clear fluid. The rash may be accompanied by small, thread-like burrows, which are actually the tunnels created by the mites as they move beneath the skin's surface. It is important to note that the rash may take several weeks to appear in individuals who have never been infested with scabies before. However, in people who have had scabies previously, the rash may develop within a few days, indicating a more rapid immune response. Uncovering Scabies Causes Scabies is primarily transmitted through prolonged, close skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infested person. The mites can easily pass from one person to another during activities such as holding hands, sexual contact, or sharing personal items like clothing or bedding. It is also possible to acquire scabies from infested animals, although such cases are relatively rare. Exploring Scabies Mites Scabies mites are tiny parasites that can barely be seen with the naked eye. They have a round body and four pairs of legs. Female mites are slightly larger than males and burrow into the skin to lay their eggs. Once hatched, the young mites make their way to the skin's surface, ready to infest a new host if given the opportunity. Natural Scabies Home Remedies While medical treatment is essential for effectively combating scabies, some individuals may seek alternative or complementary approaches to manage the condition. It is important to note that these home remedies should not replace prescribed treatments, but may be used as adjuncts to help relieve symptoms and promote healing. Some commonly suggested home remedies for scabies include tea tree oil. This essential oil possesses natural insecticidal properties and can be diluted and applied to the affected areas to help kill the mites. Neem. Neem is a plant with antimicrobial properties. Preparations containing neem extract or neem oil may help reduce itching and kill mites. Aloe vera. The soothing and anti-inflammatory properties of aloe vera gel can provide relief from itching and promote healing of the skin. Cloves. Clove oil has antimicrobial and analgesic properties. Applying diluted clove oil may help alleviate itching and provide temporary relief. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting any home remedies to ensure they are safe and appropriate for your specific situation. Preventing scabies infestation prevention plays a crucial role in avoiding scabies infestations and their spread. Here are some key preventive measures. Maintain good hygiene. Regularly wash your hands and body with soap and water, especially after close contact with individuals who have scabies. Avoid close contact. Refrain from prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact with infested individuals until their treatment is complete. Clean personal items, launder or dry clean clothing, bedding, and other personal items that may have come into contact with an infested person. Inform close contacts. If you have scabies, it is important to inform your close contacts so they can take necessary precautions to prevent infestation. Scabies in children and adults. 
Scabies can affect individuals of all ages, including children and adults. In fact, scabies is particularly common among children due to their close proximity and frequent physical contact with others. In adults, scabies infestations often occur in situations where people live in close quarters, such as nursing homes, dormitories, or military barracks. Understanding the Contagious Nature of Scabies Scabies is highly contagious and can spread rapidly under the right conditions. Close and prolonged contact with an infected person is the primary mode of transmission. It is important to note that scabies is not transmitted through casual contacts, such as shaking hands or brief encounters. However, once infested, a person can transmit scabies to others before they even show symptoms. Seeking medical attention and scabies medications. If you suspect you have scabies or have been in close contact with someone who has scabies, it is crucial to seek medical attention promptly. A healthcare professional will be able to diagnose scabies based on your symptoms and, if necessary, prescribe appropriate medications to treat the infestation. Commonly prescribed scabies medications include permethrin cream. Permethrin is a topical cream that kills scabies mites and their eggs. It is typically applied from the neck down and washed off after a specified time. Ivermectin. This oral medication is used to treat severe or resistant cases of scabies. It works by paralyzing and killing the mites. It is essential to follow the prescribed treatment regimen and complete the entire course of medication to ensure the successful eradication of the mites and prevent reinfestation. Managing scabies. Itching. The itching caused by scabies can be incredibly distressing and may persist even after effective treatment. Here are some strategies to help manage scabies itching. Cool compresses. Applying cool compresses to the affected areas can help soothe the skin and alleviate itching. Antihistamines. Over-the-counter antihistamine medications may provide temporary relief from itching. However, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional before using them. Moisturizers. Regularly moisturizing the skin with fragrance-free lotions or creams can help soothe dryness and reduce itching. Avoid scratching. Although it may be difficult, avoiding scratching the affected areas is crucial to prevent secondary bacterial infections and worsening of the rash. Recognizing scabies complications. While scabies infestations are generally not considered serious, complications can arise in certain cases. Scratching the itchy areas vigorously can break the skin and lead to secondary infections, such as impetigo or cellulitis. These infections may require additional medical treatment, including antibiotics. Visualizing scabies, pictures and bites. For a visual representation of scabies and to better understand the characteristic rash and appearance, it can be helpful to view pictures of scabies-infested skin. These images can provide insight into the various stages of the rash and help individuals recognize the condition. Additionally, scabies bites are often a cause for concern and can be mistaken for bites from other insects. Learning to differentiate scabies bites from other types of bites can assist in early detection and prompt treatment. Scabies transmission and diagnosis. As mentioned earlier, scabies is primarily transmitted through prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact. However, it is also possible to contract scabies indirectly through infested clothing, bedding, or furniture. It is crucial to maintain good hygiene and cleanliness to minimize the risk of transmission. Diagnosing scabies typically involves a physical examination by a healthcare professional. They may examine the characteristic rash, look for burrows, and may even perform a skin scraping or biopsy to confirm the presence of mites or their eggs. Understanding Potential Scabies Complications in most cases, scabies can be effectively treated without significant complications. However, certain individuals may be at a higher risk of complications, including elderly individuals. Older adults may be more prone to severe itching and secondary infections due to reduced immune function. People with weakened immune systems, individuals with conditions such as HIV, AIDS, or undergoing chemotherapy, may experience more severe symptoms and complications. Children, children, especially infants and toddlers, may have difficulty coping with the itching and may scratch excessively, increasing the risk of secondary infections. If you fall into any of these high-risk categories or experience complications, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate management. 